morning welcome to our language class this one is the week number 34 and remember today is wednesday november 25th 2020 and in this case okay in this class we make a review about two topics adjectives is the first one and the other one is pronouns so this one is the last language class of the year so i hope that you learn a lot and also this one is uh useful for your test let's start okay let's start with the personal pronouns and personal pronouns are used for a specific object, okay, or person, in some cases animals, and they change their forms to indicate the different genders. Okay, you know that the meaning of gender in Spanish is género, numbers, case, and persons speaking. Okay, if we talk about the gender, okay, the personal pronouns can be based on, uh, let me see if this one is female or male. That's mean femenino or masculino. And we have two sentences as example here. He went to the market. Okay, he, that is the pronoun, and it's a personal pronoun, in this case it's a subjective pronoun, is used for the male gender, para el género masculino. Other examples are his, him, he, etc. We have a lot. Then we have in the next example, she is doing the laundry. Okay, she is a subjective pronoun and is used for the female gender. Okay, other examples are her or hers. If you notice, the gender is male or female, masculino or femenino. In the numbers, that means the quantity, okay, if this one is plural or if it is singular, si es plural o singular. In that case, he and she, this one are singular, the third person singular. Yes, but if we talk about they, we, this one are plural. Let's continue. Okay, we have the personal pronouns. Remember, we have different types. Okay, the personal pronouns could be subjective, objective, and also possessive. Yes, okay, and we have some sentences as example here. For example, subjective case, uh, I, we, you, they, he, she, it. Objective case, me, us, you, them, him, her, it. Possessive case, my, our, your, their, his, her, its. Okay, and we have some sentences as example, but in this case, the, of the pronouns that we have here, this one are, objective pronouns let's check every type of pronoun this one is a little chart okay and in this chart you have the subjective objective and possessive for example we have i the subjective me objective my and mine this one are possessive pronouns we subjective us objective our and ours this one are possessive pronouns you, subjective, you, objective to, your and yours, possessive, he, subjective, him, objective, his, this one is the possessive pronoun, she, subjective, her, objective, her and hers, possessive, they, subjective, them, objective, their and theirs, possessive. So this one is the chart that I told you the last classes that you need to memorize, okay? You need to keep in your mind. Why? Because it is necessary that you identify what are the subjective pronouns, what are the objective pronouns, and what are the possessive pronouns, and the function that everyone has. Okay, now let's start with the subjective pronouns. Okay, you have the subjective pronouns I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they okay and if we check the sentences the first one i play basketball okay i this one is the subject pronoun you are a student you is the subject pronoun he is very nice he is the subject pronoun she is an engineer she is the subject pronoun it is a cat it is the subject pronoun. We love Spanish. We is the subject pronoun. You are smart students. You is the subject pronoun. And they are the smartest kids here. 
they are the subject pronoun. If you notice, okay, every subjective pronoun is in red. And if you notice what is the place, this one is at the beginning of the sentence. That's mean we call subjective pronoun because this one has the function of a subject. Se le llama pronombre subjetivo porque va al inicio de la oración y tiene la función de sujeto en la oración. I, en este caso, es el sujeto en la primera oración. Play basketball. This one is the predicate. Remember, a sentence has two parts, the subject and the predicate. And in this case, when we have a subjective pronoun, okay, this one is the subject in the sentence. For that reason, we call subjective pronouns. This one is the difference. Okay, let's check the second type of pronoun. Object pronouns, okay? So, these one are the pronouns that are after a verb and after a preposition, okay? Son los pronombres que van después de un verbo de acción y después de una preposición. Let's check this example. Okay, me, can you help me? Okay, in that case, help is a verb. For that reason, then we obtain or we write an objective pronoun that in this case is me. I know you. Okay, no is an action verb and then we have an object pronoun. Okay, because remember the rule. The object pronoun is after a verb or after a preposition. Next example. She is in love with him. In that case, with, this one is a preposition. And for that reason, then we write an objective pronoun that in this case is him. Her phones her every day. Okay, phones in that case is an action verb, and then we write an object pronoun. I don't like it. Okay, like this one is a verb, and remember the rule after a verb, we write an object pronoun. Wait for us. Okay, for this is a preposition. For that reason, we write then an object pronoun that in this case is us. Call them this evening. Call is a verb. Okay, so we write an object pronoun after the verb. Okay, let's review. A subjective pronoun, these one are pronouns that we use as subject in the sentence. Okay, and it's at the beginning of the sentence. Object pronoun, these pronouns are used after a verb or after a preposition in a sentence. Excellent. Let's continue. Now, possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns are words used to indicate that something belongs to someone or has a direct relationship with someone else. Ok, pronombres posesivos son los que hacen referencia o indican que algo nos pertenece o que algo le pertenece a alguien o que tiene una relación directa con algo. Ok, Significa que son de posesión, algo que le posee, que es posesión de otra persona. And we have some examples here. Mine, her parents were far more liberal than mine, ok? Que me, that's me, it's a possessive form. Yours, you probably pick up my keys instead of yours. Probablemente tomaste mis llaves en lugar de las tuyas, ok? Tuyas, algo que le pertenece a alguien más. Ok, his. You probably pick up my keys instead of his. Ok, probablemente tomaste sus llaves en lugar de las de él. Hers. Your account of events doesn't correspond with hers. Ok. Ours. Your dormitory is not better than ours. Tu dormitorio no es mejor que el nuestro. Ok, that's mean show possession. Theirs, his view eventually prevail over theirs. Yours, our house is not comparable with yours. Okay, if you notice the possessive pronouns, okay, in regularly is at the end of the sentence, okay, or maybe um, after a preposition of place, okay, for example, instead of, then, okay, with, over, etc. So this one is the possessive pronoun. Let's review. Okay, subjective pronouns, when a pronoun is the subject of a sentence, and it's at the beginning, okay? Objective pronouns, when this one are after a verb or after a preposition. And possessive pronouns, okay, indicate that something belongs to someone. 
Let's see. Okay, let's continue. Now we pass to the unit 10. This one are adjectives. And remember, okay, an adjective is a word that modifies. Okay, that's mean is a word that describes a noun or in some cases are pronoun. Okay, for example, we have a dog here. That dog is brown. That dog is a small. Okay, all of these one are characteristic of a specific animal and a specific person or a specific thing or place. And we use as adjectives. Let's see, what is an adjective? In that case, we have three, blue, cold, and happy. Okay, an adjective is a word that modifies, or it's a word that describes other things. And an adjective gives more information about something. That's mean, you can say, okay, my pencil is big. Okay, or this is my pencil. Okay, but if you say this is my pencil, this is my lapis, okay, is, uh, let me see, short information. But if you need to add, this is my blue, sharp, Pencil, okay, this is my lapis, azul y puntudo, puntudo, okay, so in that case you add extra information, so an adjective generally describes a noun, okay, for example here we have a monster, the green monster, okay, green is an adjective, or we can say the monster is green. For example, when you use adjectives, the majority of the times you use the verb be. Okay, for example, the rose is big, my mother is tall, the car is fast, okay, the candy is sweet. If you notice, okay, you use the verb be for explain or for describing, okay, the things. Okay, and we have different type of adjective, for example, color, black, blue, coral, green, pink, okay, etc. We have different colors. Size, el, la talla. Okay, big o el tamaño, huge, large, little, short, shape, okay, la forma, boxy, cuadrado, oval, round, square, and triangular, taste, el sabor, okay, if you talk about food, fruits, etc., bitter, sour, sweet, tangy, tart, odor, el olor, okay, flower, fresh, musty, salty, stinky, the texture, okay, la textura, furry, slimy, smooth, squishy, fluffy, sound, el sonido, faint, harmonious, loud, pleasant, quiet, number, la cantidad, okay, few, fifty, many, spurs, two, three, etc. The weather, clear, dry, foggy, rain, windy okay all of this one are type of adjectives you can say the color of an object you can say the size the shape the taste the odor the texture the sound the number the weather the nationality okay the quantity all of this one are adjectives and remember if we talk about numbers okay when we talk about colors and also nationality this one are considered adjectives you can say i meet Three um, Spanish people, okay? Conocí tres personas españolas. So, three is an adjective. Spanish is a nationality and also is an adjective, okay? For that reason, we consider that the number, the color, and nationalities are adjectives, okay? How we can identify adjectives? Okay, if you don't know if a word is an adjective, you see different questions. For example, which one? What kind? How many? How much? And whose? When you say which one? ¿Cuál? What kind? ¿Qué tipo? How many? ¿Cuántos? How much? ¿Cuántos? Who's? ¿Quién? Okay. So, we have some examples here. The last day. Last is used as an adjective here because it's tell which one. Porque nos dice cuál. Okay. El último. Chocolate candy. Chocolate is used as an adjective here because it tells what kind. Nos dice de qué tipo. Okay. Chocolate candy. Sugar candy. Two pens. Two is used as an adjective here because it tells how many. In that case, pens is a countable noun for that reason we use how many. In great wheels, in that reason we use how much because this one is uncountable now. Okay, remember, how many countable nouns, cosas que se pueden contar, and how much uncountable nouns, cosas que no se pueden contar. Okay, Robert's friends. Robert's is used as an adjective here because it tells whose. Okay, Robert's nos dice de quién. Okay, so remember, when you have a word with an apostrophe in an S, this one is a possessive. 
but we have exceptions. For example, the contraction of a verb, this one is not a possessive, okay? So this one is a contraction. And also the contractions of um, personal pronoun. When you say it's, okay, it is, yes? Okay, so this one are not adjectives. Let's see. An adjective gives more information about a noun or a pronoun by answering one of these questions, okay? We have different examples here. What kind? Que tipo? Blue car. Long rope, tall person, big house. Okay, which one? This town, last week, the second day, the other woman. How many? One second, three boys, few cars, several people, etc. So we have different uh, examples here. Okay, so we discussed this class, or these topics in this class. Okay, remember for your test, okay, read carefully the question, read carefully the answer, analyze, okay, and choose the best answer that you consider. So let's see. Excellent participation, guys. Thank you very much, okay, for all your attention during these classes, for all your participation, for solving all your activities. Okay, you did an excellent job. Thank you very much. Okay, got a look in your test. And if you have any question, please write or send a text message. Okay, see you on Friday because we have our session, okay, uh, for saying goodbye to the 2020 year, school year. Okay, so let's see. See you on Friday. God bless you a lot.